Margot Robbie will once again don the infamous baseball bat and pigtails as she reprises her role of Harley Quinn in Birds of Prey. But in this movie, Robbie will have to share the spotlight with actor Ewan McGregor, who is set to play the film's villain, Black Mask. So who is this mysterious criminal facing off with the Birds of Prey? In the wider Batman canon, Black Mask is an extremely wealthy Gotham crime lord. Roman Sionis was born to a pair of self-absorbed socialites who were friends of the Wayne family, as in the Bruce Wayne family. But Sionis would not follow the same path as his childhood acquaintance. Instead, he burned down his parents' mansion because they didn't like his girlfriend. The young man then inherited his family's billion-dollar corporation. Sounds like someone else we know, right? Sionis ran the company into the ground by pushing dangerous products to the market before they had been tested, a move that would send him down a wicked spiral of personal and financial failure, including the loss of his girlfriend, who wasn't too keen on his erratic behavior. He even fashioned a spooky black mask out of his father's ebony casket, which he smashed in a fit of rage. Sionis used his remaining wealth to fund criminal activities, like drug dealing, racketeering, gambling, and all your other favorite Gotham pastimes. Certainly one way to honor your old man's legacy. Donning his infamous black mask, Sionis created a gang called the False Face Society. Members of the gang were required to wear masks representing their inner selves, which resulted in a ton of creepy animal masks. Like, really creepy. The gang left a trail of murders behind them as they sought to cover up their various crimes. Once Batman and Robin caught wind of their activities, things got ugly. In an altercation with Batman, Sionis fell face first into an inferno. Although he survived, the mask had permanently burned into his flesh thus creating the villain we know today. Since those early comics, Black Mask has appeared in several Batman stories, repeatedly showing up as a major player in Gotham's criminal underbelly. Perhaps most notably, Black Mask has a prominent role in the Arkham series, often involved in various side quests in the video games. In the video game Arkham Origins, Black Mask is one of the primary antagonists, hiring a dozen assassins to kill Batman on Christmas Eve. Unsuccessfully, of course. But ultimately, Black Mask is obscure to the general movie-going public. So how did Black Mask get tangled up with Harley and the Birds of Prey? In the comics, the two are never paired in any major storyline, as Harley has only been around since the 90s, being created for Batman, the animated series. However, this presents a unique opportunity. With this new pairing of characters, the filmmakers can find fun ways for them to play off each other. So far in the trailers, we see the face of Ewan McGregor a lot, and the mask only for a brief moment, which can mean a new origin story for the Crime Lord. Harley Quinn is the anti-hero of this film, with her flair for the extravagant and a twisted sense of humor. Who better to take on the role of the villain than the dark and serious Black Mask? And with an actor as iconic as Ewan McGregor, anything is possible. Black Mask is a brutish and dour villain, and his unique backstory gives him a lot of potential for the main villain of this film. Whatever direction they take, it's nice DC is giving a nod to one of the lesser known, but still brilliant, villains from the Batman comics, and the Birds of Prey will definitely have their hands full with this bad guy. 